Let's work through an example problem where you either have to accept or reject a special order. So the problem says at Homestead Company, it costs $40, so $25 of variable costs and $15 of fixed costs, to make one unit at full capacity that normally sells for $55. A foreign wholesaler comes to us and offers to buy 4,000 units at $35 a piece. Homestead Company will incur a special shipping cost of $2 per unit. We need to assume that Homestead Company has excess capacity and we need to indicate the net income or loss that Homestead Company would realize by accepting this order and then make the decision of should the order be accepted or rejected. So we're going to set up a table like this, and we have all of the important information up at the top. The first important piece is that Homestead Company has excess capacity. That means that if we reject the order, we wouldn't be getting other orders. So if we reject the order, we don't have any revenues, we don't have any variable manufacturing costs, any shipping costs, or any any changes to our net income. But if we accept this order, well, our revenues would be the 4,000 units times the $35 that we're selling it to this wholesaler for. So that would be 140,000 additional dollars of revenues. Now, our manufacturing costs, we're only looking at the variable cost because our fixed cost will be there whether we accept or reject. So our variable cost is $25 a unit times the 4,000 units that this wholesaler wants. So we're going to have $100,000 of manufacturing cost. And then there's that shipping cost, right? There's that $2 per unit special shipping cost that we have to incur. So two times 4,000, that gives us 8,000. So our net income, if we took our revenues and subtract out the manufacturing cost and the shipping cost, we would see that our net income would be $32,000 more if we accepted this order. So now our last column. Looking piece by piece, what would this do to our net income? Well, our revenues went from zero to 140,000. That would increase our net income by 140,000. Our manufacturing costs went from zero to 100,000. Well, that's an increase in our cost, so that's going to decrease your net income. Shipping costs went from zero to 8,000, so that's going to decrease our net income by 8,000. And then our net income went from zero to 32. So we have gone through and indicated the net income or loss, but then there was that second part of this problem that said, should the order be accepted or rejected? And we're going to look right there. If we accept the order, we get an additional $32,000 of net income. So we definitely want to accept this order.